Hello fellow humans and welcome back to our Floating Islands Survival Let's Play series. Last episode we built the barn that you see over there and this episode we were going to build the farm that goes on the other side of the island as well as the pathway that goes up to it. Here let me show you. So across this bridge we have our second island and then I'd like the path to go up this cliffside and like swing right and then go left. So it goes like follows up here and then it'll come around up here and then probably probably around this way and then over here I'd this is where I'd like to have the farm to be and then I want the path to go and swing this way across this bridge and into the farm area. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, filling in this pool of water here and then laying out the framework for how our farm is going to work. I planted all of the seeds and carrots that we had and this is what we ended up with. We have almost a full thing of carrots, actually not even close, it's like not even halfway full. And then we've got a full field of wheat over here as well as probably another one um, right over here. So that's a nice start to our farm. And then next I'm going to start working on this pathway that goes down this way and connects with the bridge over there. All right, the pathway is now complete. It goes up this way and then curves around this way and then goes by the farm and then it goes towards the barn as well. Now that the path is complete, one thing that I would like to do this episode is if we come over here, you can see that we have a mine shaft that's just really, just really close to over here. So I'd like to go and explore that. Um, I got these golden leggings off of a skeleton. Um, but let me go get some blocks and we can go explore that. Alrighty, I've armed myself and I am ready to go. I believe that it is somewhere over here. I'm wondering if it is actually underneath this island or if I have to go and make a tiny bridge over to the next one. But we will see. It looks like it's close close enough yeah these islands are so close together but they're not quite connected so I'm just gonna make a quick tiny bridge over there nothing too fancy there we go just so I don't have to risk jumping um, down and possibly falling off so if we go over here might get a better picture of where the shaft is okay so it looks like it's just under here there is a spider spawner over there which is something that i would like to make use of so let me head towards it yeah this looks like a good spot so let's plop a water stream here 
that we can go down without needing to take any fall damage. It is turning nighttime pretty soon here. But, that eh, why? Why not? This is super dangerous. <laughs> the skeletons pose the most threat to us because they can hit us from far away and potentially knock us off of the this place. But the zombies can't really do much to us. So as long as I stay away from the skeletons, I think we're okay. I want the skeletons to come over here and fall off like the rest did. He's got a strong bow though. I don't know if I can do this yet. Uh, let me come down here. No, 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 I'm gonna die. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, let me go back there. Alrighty, I made it back. Let's try this again. This time with uh, a better idea of what we need to do. So I think we would drop down and we build a little barricade. Yeah, perfect. So now we should be okay to come over here. Because the skeletons can't hit us with the barricade. Yeah, that's good. So now we should be able to come over here. Is there anything over here? I'm mostly looking for chests so we can get some extra melon seeds if we can. There, the zombie noises are really loud. Give me one second. Turn that down. So we're looking for chests and we also want to be able to get to this spider spawner. Oh, there's a skeleton over there. That I did not count on happening. He fell off. We're good. Okay, so let's make a small bridge over to this area. Something like this. Make the zombies come over here, and then we'll dig underneath them, get them to fall. Perfect. And we can build the rest of the bridge. Just like so. One too many. <laughs> and we can get rid of the cobwebs, I think, using water. It's not operating. There we go. Okay. This is our last bucket, by the way, so we don't want to lose it. Or I have to go and find some more iron. As we slowly make our way over here. As soon as we see a spider, I'm going to run back because I don't want to risk dying. There's not even a spawner over here. Where is the spawner? Isn't there supposed to be like a cave spider spawner? It's not over here. Huh. I don't know. Oh well. There's a skeleton over here. Which scares me a little bit, so I don't want to go over near him. And I'm not seeing any chests either. So this may have been a bust. So that was the mine shaft that we just explored, which sadly was pretty boring. But over here, there seems to be a village. So I want to try to make my way over there to see if it's any use to us. And it should just be right here. Here we go. Alrighty, we can explore this village, which is actually not that far away. Um, but far enough away to where we couldn't see it from our base. You have nothing to trade us. Uh, let's go inside. Got a bed and not much else. I'm going to go ahead and loot this village and um, I'll come back and show you what I found. So this is what we've got from the, the village. We've got a bell, we've got a couple of emeralds, the potatoes I'm super excited about, a new crop we can use. And then we've got some pumpkins as well, and uh, even some pumpkin pies pre-made for us. And then 
Um, some logs and a couple of signs, some saplings and some ferns. So all in all, it was not that great of a village because part of the village spawned at the very bottom of the world and they don't actually have a floor. So there's nothing in them. It's just an empty house pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff back to our base and I'll see you guys over there. I thought we would take some time to go and explore the warped forest in our nether. It's really close to the portal, so if we do die, it wouldn't be that bad. But we do have to bridge precariously over here. I'm gonna eventually replace this cobblestone bridge with like a proper bridge. But for now, just to get over here, I think it's fine. We lived. So, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Do I mind you with a pickaxe? I think I use an axe. What are you? Warped stem. Okay. So it's kind of like a, a tree, I guess. Like a nether tree. Very cool. Can I take you? What are you? Shroom lights. Oh, those are very interesting looking. They're like, uh, like glowstone, but room, I guess. Ooh, crimson roots. Twisting vines. This stuff is so cool. I'm gonna explore around. I think it's a very interesting color palette. It makes for... I think it would make a great, like, haunted house kind of look. Like the faded um, wood appearance and then, like, the veins of the walls. I think it'd make a really cool looking haunted house. Which is something that would be cool to build, but not something that I'm currently interested in. But good to keep in mind. Before we leave the nether, I just wanted to show you how much um, basalt and blackstone I've been mining out. So this used to be just a solid wall and I've like mined all of this. Um, but I also needed some blackstone. So I came over here. Hello, Ghast. I came over here and I mined out this whole area that was all blackstone because our next project yet another bridge so we're gonna take some of the nether materials that we gathered up and we're gonna bridge across this um this hole over to the island to this way just for some context our house is right here and our nether portal is over there bridge and barn is over there um so let's get started
and this bridge is now complete. I went with a, a wider bridge this time because it's a straight one rather than the diagonal one over there. And I think it looks pretty nice. I can run along here and not really have to worry about falling it off at all. I can if like I want to for some reason, um, but I'm mostly just going to be staying to the middle. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Take care.